Hey guys, it's the Wig Fairy GH speaking and welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Today I'll be showing you guys exactly how I silk press this Yaki Straight unit for it to look super, super natural. Alright, so this is a unit after construction. As you can see, you can see from the texture, this is yaki, kinky straight. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love this texture. Oh my gosh, guys, literally, since you guys have decided that you don't want to see the curling tutorial for the purple unit, okay, this is what you're gonna get. I'm joking, guys. I mean, I'm not joking, but like, as in, this is not what you're gonna get because, like, this is still like me dropping gems. So, <laughs> but yeah, so right now I'm putting down the lace. I wouldn't recommend use two pins because they just get caught in the lace. So, I would recommend ball pins. I think it's ball pins, yeah. So, what we're gonna need is a blow dryer, a spray bottle for water, heat protectant, either or. This is what I use. And then heat activator straightening spray you don't really need it but I use it well I mean if you don't have it don't worry but this is just what I use and then a brush and then a fine tooth comb and then hair wax like a wax stick a wax stick yes and a straightener I use Remington and a hot comb and gloves to protect you from the heat because it actually burns truly so what we're gonna do now is spray the entire unit until it's damp with water we're spraying it with water we want it to be damp so we can add the heat protector and the heat activating spray before we blow dry this just helps the product per is it what is it this just helps the product enter the hair part like this just helps the product enter the hair better than <laughs> than doing this dry so this is a heat protectant and then we're moving on to spraying the heat activated spray so as I'm saying, like it helps the I don't even I've forgotten the English, but like it helps the it helps the products, you know, um spread better on the hair. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening with my English, but I promise you I can speak it very well. So now we're sectioning the hair before we start blow drying. So I section it into half, bottom and the top at first. And then we're going to start blow drying. You guys can see the direction in which I hold the brush and blow dry the hair. But you even can just like put the blow dry on the hair and brush as they're going along if this motion is too difficult. So we're just going to do that until the hair is like 90 to 95% dry. We don't want it dry like hard like barre. We don't, we don't want it too dry but we do want it mostly dry. Do you get what I'm saying? So yeah, we're going to do this section, then move to the top until the entire unit is dry, 90 to 95%, don't forget. Friendly reminder to go and watch my coloring DIY and share it with your friends and <laughs> let's get me to 150 subscribers and that video to 50 likes. Thank you! <laughs> you can see already like we wanted what we're going for was like a natural look we wanted it to look like my client's hair do you get what I'm saying? we wanted it to look like her hair was silk pressed or permed and that is this is exactly how to achieve that look so get the hair damp blow dry it until it looks like you've kind of how do I even explain this until it looks like you've just blow dried your hair and you know when you blow dry your hair sometimes it's just like slightly poofy kind of like this but you can see that the curls have been ironed out sort of or blow dried out but yeah so this texture already is beautiful just as it is some people like to stop here i also love that as well but for my client we wanted that silk pressed permed look so we're going to start straightening so what i'm going to do is she wanted a center part so i'm going to do the part now because this helps me when I'm sectioning the hair into half. I use the hot comb to press down the part. We're not actually properly working on the closure at the moment. But this is just to flatten it so we see where the hair lays. And then we use that center part to help us part the unit into half. Ah! 
I like to straighten in halves because I feel like it doesn't feel like I've spent as much time when I do it that way as opposed to just tying all the hair up and doing it line by line. But guys, remember, it's very important that we do this line by line. Okay, because we don't, well, at least for the look we're going for, we didn't want too much poofiness. We just wanted it to look natural. We wanted it to look real. So we're going to go in with a straightener. Guys, I'm going to show you how to do this, but also it's just uh, like, let's just take in how it just straightens Ooh, mm, this is therapeutic i think we have to rewind please uh-huh good <laughs> just like just watch it straighten mm. that hair on the street now is bothering me but anyway let's watch mm, this is beautiful but the hair is bothering me but this is yummy yummy yum yum guys so let the straightener chase the comb don't let the comb chase the straightener as I'm doing, let the straightener chase the comb, especially if your comb has plastic teeth. Because if you do let your comb chase your straightener, the teeth of your comb are going to melt. Let the straightener chase the comb. Yeah. So, we're gonna do this line by line. But you see how I've really straightened the hair at the back. I don't want to do that for every section because we still kind of want to maintain the texture. So with this one, I'm really getting the roots. But at the same time too, I'm not going to spend as much time on this section as I did with the bottom one. I felt like ironing out all that texture is like, then why did she give you kinky straight if that's what she wanted? like she would have just given you that silky straight hair right so yeah so we do this literally throughout the entire unit it's honestly up to you use your discretion and see how the hair flows and if you feel like you want it silkier go in and straighten the lines more but for me this was perfect i was switching up how much i straighten each section but yeah as you can see already it's just looking so beautiful And so we're going to do this until we get to the top. We're not going to work on the closure part until the end. But when I get to the very top, I like to use hair wax. You'll see. I like to use hair wax and then my hot comb to just press down that top because we want it to lay flat. As for the top of wigs, we don't play. They will be flat. They must be flat. We don't want any humps. No humps 2020 because I have seen too many wigs. Too many too many too many wigs with humps and i'm sure you already know but let me just reiterate and say it's just like it's not cute it's not cute at all <laughs> so now we're moving on to the next side and you see how it kind of feels like you haven't spent that much time straightening it okay i know i sped up the video but <laughs> let's not talk about that but it actually feels less tedious when you divide it into half or divide it into sections to straighten rather than just doing it as one big clump. So basically we're just still straightening the other side until we get to the very top and remember we're straightening some bits more than others to maintain texture. When we get to the very top we also do the wax and hot comb to flatten it. This really helps you achieve that flat look. In addition to good construction so now that we're on the closure I'm dividing that into half luckily it's a center part so it's divided into two halves even if it's the side part you can just divide it on either side of the part so I'm straightening the top part once more to make sure that it's flat and with the closure guys we're taking everything line by line there's no one part we're straightening more than the other now nah, we're straightening it because we need it to look like it was silk pressed we need it to look like a perm so all the strands are catching some heat and we're using the hot comb and wax as well at the top but just don't use too much wax because too much product in the hair 
weighs it down, makes it stiff, reduces the movement. As you can see, that side is already looking super flat. It's looking very natural. It will look like you got a perm. Oh, by the way, I plucked my closure before I started straightening it. So if you like to customize your closures, that is a time to do so. So yeah, I spray a little bit of got to be on a little brush and brush back the hairline. This helps flatten it. Then I go over with a hot comb. And then I also spray the unit a bit with got to be to tame flyaways. Listen, there's no such thing as using too much hot comb. Just go in until it's flat. When you also do the install, use the hot comb to make it flatter. But guys, can you see how beautiful this looks? You can see how the texture is maintained because you can see some parts are a little kinkier than others, but it literally looks like a perm. So this is a final product. I'm so in love with this. I love the texture. I love the hair. I wish I could show you on here what it looked like on the clients, but it was so beautiful. I'm going to post pictures and videos of the install on my Instagram. So follow me on Insta. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye.